good morning. Happy Thursday. Look at me knowing what day it is. What day is it, Mike? I don't know. It's hump day. It's not hump day. It's Thursday. Uh, what a glorious day it is. Oh, the horror. I forgot my lipstick. Oh, I'll put that on in a second when I get off this road, okay? Okay, so I was watching a video this morning, and it was over on the tubes of views. The tubes of views, guys. You know what I'm saying? The book of faces doesn't like it when you talk about the tube of views. But it was from suits to boots. And she mentioned, to be quite honest, someone on the show, on the show, someone lost their teeth, okay? And you'll have to go watch it to, to hear the rest of the story. But it's a, it's a funny video all the way through. But it reminded me of the missing teeth story. Yes, when Mary Frances lost her teeth. I don't know if I've told this story. So, this was in the latter years. And Mary Frances called and she said, I can't find my teeth. And, of course, my dad's response is, well, where'd you put them? Helpful. That was very helpful, Harry. If she knew where she put them, then she would know where they are, okay? Uh, sometimes things go missing and we don't put things where we normally do and that's why we can't find them, okay? I do that all the time. I'm like, I'm just gonna lay that right there and I'll remember it and then I'm looking for it and I can't find it. So yeah, not, not helpful to say, where did you put it? Because if I knew where I put it, I would know where it is, okay? <laughs> if I had put it where it belonged, I would know where it is. But obviously, I didn't do that. Well, anyway, Mary Frances didn't do that, apparently. So, I'm not sure how my sister was involved in this trip. Because she lived up in the mountains. And she didn't just... Uh, she wasn't just usually here to go to Rome to find teeth. You know what I'm saying? So, me and Mom and Dad and Jenny all go to Rome, Georgia, not Italy. I'm sure you could pick up on that, that I'm not Italian, <laughs> to find the missing teeth, okay? Well, there was something else about Mary Frances. She liked paper towels, okay? She had a sweet tea addiction as well, okay? This goes way back in the way backs, and she loved her paper towels because, of course, we didn't have the metal cups back then that kept your tea glass from sweating. I just spit everywhere. Wait, it wasn't me. It came flying out of the tip of the straw. Anyway, so we go up there and we're searching for the teeth everywhere and we're finding all these folded paper towels everywhere now she had this thing that she took one and she wrapped it around the outside of the cup and then i don't know it was kind of like magic she would kind of uh work it to where she could fold it in such a way uh probably over the top there tuck it was a over the top tuck with the napkin to make it stay on the tea glass but then she also had to set it on a paper towel that was folded in fours perfectly, I might add. She, she, I think she started the OCD of the ocd -ness in this family. She might not have started it, but she was definitely part of it. Folded perfectly. And each, each little folded napkin we found that was folded perfectly had the perfect circle in the center where the tea glass had sat. So we're picking up all those as we go to throw them away because why do you need 82 folded napkins? You know what I'm saying? But she liked them. We're searching through drawers. We're searching in places that, I mean, you just really don't want people searching. You know what I'm saying? But she couldn't find her teeth. So I find a set of teeth. How many sets of teeth do you have? And I take them in there to her. And she's trying to get them in her mouth. And she goes, oh, well, these just don't fit right. And she keeps trying to get them in her mouth. And she keeps opening her mouth. And I'm like, those don't look right. That, and, you know, 
well, you're used to your grandma's dentured smile, and those just don't look like her normal dentures. Well, that's because they were not her normal dentures, okay? Uh, my grandfather passed away, my papa, we called him Papa. Uh, papa passed away in 1967, so I really never got to know him because I would have been, I turned two in December and he passed away in January, so I was two which my other grandma tried to kill me during that time. I had to go in the hospital because apparently she forgot to feed me and give me a liquid nourishment and I was extremely dehydrated. They left me with her while they did all the funeral things, right? Because I was two. Anyway, I had to go stay in the hospital because Momo tried to kill me, but that's another story for another day. Well, those teeth that she was trying to fit in her mouth they were Papa's mm -hmm. from 1967. Yeah, well, or before. Uh, but yeah, she, she still had them wrapped up in a paper towel in a drawer. Well, very long story short, after we searched all day through every single drawer, and, and Jenny even cleaned out the fridge where we found Tabasco sauce, that belonged to my grandfather, my papa, uh, from the 60s. It was still in the refrigerator. She was just keeping it as a memento. But, um, yeah, after all that, we searched through everything. Um, the teeth were found. Did we find the teeth? Nope. She was wearing a moo, -moo and Which is a house coat, I guess you would call it. A robe of sorts. It's just a house dress. I don't know, we call them moo moos. Uh, the teeth were in the pocket of the Moo Moo the entire day while we searched the whole house over for her teeth. Look, there's the little Mercedes that I walked up to. Y'all ain't gonna be able to see it. I'm driving up on the curb. I mean, my car is humongous compared to that little car. So you can see now why I was able to walk up and look over the top of it. Skimmed over the top of it like, oh, that's not my car. <laughs> anyway, that's the case of the missing teeth. That's also the day <clears throat> that my sister decided that it would be a good idea to put Francis in the bathtub. Francis had a clawfoot tub, and it was very high. You know, they're very tall tubs. And at this point, Francis had shrunken quite a bit. I mean, she still had her long legs, but her body, you know, her torso went from this to this, but that's not the point. And then she had shower doors on those tubs. Long story short, it was very hard for her to get in and out of the tub. And my sister thought it would be a great idea for us to pick her up and put her in the tub. And when we went to hook her in the tub, uh, my sister's back went out. And I was left stand standing there holding my naked grandma, uh, partially propped on the tub yelling for help. I told y'all I was freakishly strong. I didn't drop her, but my, my dad had to come in <laughs> and help get his mother the rest of the way in the tub. Cause at that point it, we weren't backing out on the bath. You know what I'm saying? But then we got her all bathed up and all that stuff. And then I had to get in the tub and get behind her and I wrapped a towel around her for her modesty's sake, even though dad had already seen it all. And I mean, you know, it's his mom. It's not like he hadn't seen a naked person before, but anyway, he had to come help us get her out of the tub. That was fun. That's the last time we tried to put her in the tub. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, okay, moving on. So yesterday I thought it would be a great idea to take my car through the car wash uh, and Penny was with me and we were on the way to the school to get Naomi. Penny freaked out in the, t in the, in the tub, in the car wash. She did not like it at all. I thought, I didn't think, I, I didn't think it would bother her like that, but oh boy, she climbed out of her seat and into my arms and watched with the biggest eyes you've ever seen in your life at the things happening in the car wash. 
Well, then Naomi said, and mom said, all you do is pull up and she'll come out of school. Because I, yesterday I went to pick her up because she went to chorus. And, you know, mom works all day on Wednesday at the office. So, I don't mind picking her up. Well, I pull up and uh, there's no kids. And I'm like, okay. Then this other lady pulls up. She gets out. She comes to me. She said, are you picking up from choir? And I said, yes, I am. And she said, I'm going to go in and ask what's going on because they're supposed to be outside. And I was like, okay, you do that. Well, she goes in, then she comes back out and she's like, she's around back. And I'm like, where's around back? I thought this was the back. So I drive around following this person in front of me because she said they were also going to pick up a choir kid. And, and it was just this other parking lot. And the, what I would have thought was the front of the school because it faces the road, there was nobody there. Long story short, I had to go back, I had to get out, I had to walk in. As I'm walking in, I see Naomi. She comes running towards me, and these, the lady didn't see Naomi running towards me, and she said, are you picking up for uh, someone from choir? And I said, chorus, sorry. And I said, yes. I said, she's right there. And she said, you have to pick her up around back. And I said, I thought this was the back. And she goes, no, we actually consider this the front. You have to go around the building. I said, well, I went around the building, but the parking lot circles. So then she points at Naomi and she said, she can show you uh, around back. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so Naomi gets in the car, she holds Penny we drive the same way and I'm like, see, it's closed off. And she's like, but you gotta be over there. Oh, I had to get back out on the road and go down to the other entrance, which says do not enter because that's the school bus entrance. Yeah, and then I drove down and that's where she'll be. I was like, um, okay. Well, I think we need signs, okay? Can we just have a sign that says choir pickup and point? You know what I'm saying? I was on this, hello. I was on the side where they were picking up from basketball practice. Yeah, no, no course kids there. Course kids had to be on the other side where it said, do not enter. Oh, uh, look, I'm not a parent. I don't know how to pick up a kid. Uh. Anyway, I'm at work, so I gotta go, so. Remember, I love you. Jesus loves you. I hope he's coming back soon because people be crazy and don't lose your teeth. And I'll talk to you on the next Tracy Tries. Toodles, my noodles. Stay silly, my friends. Smile. It'll piss people off, make people happy, or just make them wonder what you've been up to. Goodbye.